Hi guys, this is Karina. Thank you for purchasing template 13. Today we're gonna to make a quick flower just like in the picture in the listing when you purchase the template. Um, so for today, what you're going to need is obviously your templates. We're gonna use the second, the third, and the fourth one. So we're not using the smallest and the largest, okay? Um, you're going to go ahead and trace out six of each, okay, onto cardstock any color of your choice and then in your packet you also receive three different size circles go ahead and trace out the largest one the same color as the flower that you will be creating um, once you have those all cut and traced which I already have just for time purposes how we're gonna prep all your petals is that do you see how we have creased it in the middle that's what we're gonna do you're just gonna grab your petals just fold them in half. Okay, don't have to be exactly perfect. But there you go, just to give it a little look on this style. And then what you're also going to need is something to curl with. Either, I, I like to use my spaghetti utensil, you can use a glue stick, you can also use um, wooden dowels. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my spaghetti utensil. I just tend to use this a lot. And I'm just gonna give my ends a curl. Okay, so they're gonna look like this. Now I have already done this to all my petals. And once you have done that, you're gonna get your scissors. In about an inch and a half to two, you're gonna cut in the middle. We're doing this because we're gonna add a dot of glue. So go ahead and get your glue gun. You're gonna add a tiny little dot of glue, and then have the other petal meet, and then just press down. Let me show you with this one. Glue, press down, okay? So I have done that to all my petals, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my six largest ones. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make a circle. So what I like to do is just add a tiny little dot of glue. And then glue it down and leave a little bit of separation there. Now we're adding a tiny dot just in case if we need to readjust our petals, we can, um, you know, so we can lift them up and not damage the petals. Just add a tiny little dot of glue. Last one. Now you are dealing with hot glue, so just watch those fingers. Alright, there you go. There's my circle. Now remember that large circle I had you cut out and trace? This is why, because we're going to add it to the center. So in the outer, you're going to add your glue. And then just place it on top. Now you're going to get your second largest center, or not center, your second, second largest petals. I like to add my glue across just like this. And now we're going to place them in between. And you're going to go all around. your last petals, your smallest ones, same thing, go in between.
Alright, last two. Now for this one, whenever I get to my last ones, I always like to tuck it in um, underneath the other one. So just lift it up slightly, that first petal you laid, and just tuck the other one underneath. And there you go. I'm just going to secure this with a little bit more glue. Now for your center, you have so many options. You can do whatever you would like. Um, a center that I typically like to use for this one is my spiral center. Now this is my medium size. I probably could go a little bit larger. Um, on my Instagram, I just recently posted um, a tutorial on the larger version of this center. Um, and I do give you the measurements, so you do need the Cricut machine, but again, you're, you don't have to do the center. You can do whatever you would like, but I will send you the links to that, um, to that video, that post that I did. So if you do have the Cricut machine, you can just do the measurements. So this one is a medium center. It still looks good. The other one though, it is a little bit larger. Um, so it would be more full, but it still looks beautiful. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please message me at Aerialise Designs on Etsy or on Instagram. I am more than willing to help. And watch the next video. I will explain to you how to add the gauge wire um, if we're going to be mounting these onto a wall using nails or command hooks. Or I will also explain to you what I like to use for if we're going to be mounting onto fabric, okay? Alright guys, talk to you guys later. Bye.